Let's create a box that contains the m and k values and pass that to the Euler function. And so if you had to, you know, pass 10 parameters to a function, you can put that all into a box and just pass the box. So let me create the box. So I'll say box and the box contains a sub box which I'll call mass and that contains the value of m and similarly box contains another sub box called say spring const and that contains the k value and now instead of passing m and k to Euler, I will pass just a box because it contains those two values. And if I come in here, so what I'm getting are not M and K values, I'm just getting a big box, bigger box with those two values. And so I need to unpack those values. So I'll say M equal to box. So I'm saying, hey, for calculating M, take this box and which has another sub box called mass and look at the value in there and assign that to M. Similarly, K is going to be take the box and look in the sub box called spring const. Okay, so we have green, no warnings found, so it looks encouraging. So what I'll do is I will set a breakpoint here and run through to understand what the code is doing. So I'll set the breakpoint and click on F5, and then I will, and let me get rid of this. So right now I don't have box in my workspace. So if I come here into the editor and step, so now it's created the box. And it's a structure. That's what MATLAB calls these things. Um, and it's a general computer science terminology too. And so if I go and look in the box, you see there are two smaller boxes and they contain the values that I want. So let me get rid of that. And then let me go back here and step into the function to see you know, what's coming into the function. So now in the function workspace, I have the box. And then if I step, you see that the, um, the sub box called mass, the value there has been assigned to M and that's the right value and similarly for K. So you see it's getting the right values of M and K uh, which are coming in this big box. Since that looks uh, promising, I'll just say continue to execute the rest of the code and I see that I get the original result. So let me just dock this.